Hey everybody, I'm back for another week. Today we're still drinking the Fruit Smash. Very blessed. I don't remember what I drank last week, but it was the same Fruit Smash. It was a little bit of Smash of Fruit. So what I start with today, a little sip. Very good, because when we're done with this video, i got to start cooking dinner. Um, somebody sent me a message last week that I am not a content creator. Um, you're right. I, I, I'm not a content, content creator. Uh, I'm, a, I'm an angry Irish old guy with an opinion. Lots of opinions. Come to the bar on a Tuesday night. You can hear all of them. Many, many, many opinions. I'm not creating content. I'm giving you opinions. Maybe you get a laugh. I really don't care. You don't like it, don't watch. You know, it's funny because my generation, Generation X, we had social media. But it usually took place at the bleachers on a Friday or Saturday night and the cops would chase us away or around a keg at Dana's house. Still happens. That's the uh, original social media. So here we go. Cheers to that. Now, can anyone tell me why adjustable rate mortgages are coming back? I mean, inflation is going up. The, the, the mortgage rates are going up. Home prices are going up. We're going to bring back adjustable rates because it worked out the first time so well. Let's try it again. Must be Joe Kamala and AOC's idea because they certainly are geniuses. The adults are in charge. Aren't you happy about that, the adults? And speaking of whispering, foolish, dementia, angry Joe. This week he went to, uh, I think it was Korea or Taiwan. He went somewhere to one of the Asian countries to work on relations. So he gets out of the plane, he's got his mask on because, you know, COVID is prevalent everywhere. It's getting ready for midterms. They're gearing it up right now. So he gets off the plane, he's got the mask on, he's all by himself. So he gets down to the bottom and there's a whole group of people. So you know what he does? He takes it off, gives the guy a handshake, gives somebody a hug, no mask. Really, Joe, would you forget? Or, or you didn't think somebody was taking pictures? It's a scam. I mean, listen. They keep talking about these COVID numbers, 6%, 7%, 8%. You know what? The comparison, to only compare it to COVID is ridiculous. I have no base. Let's compare. What is the flu numbers? What are the cold, common cold numbers? What are the numbers of people with allergies? So without a comparison, it's meaningless. It's just meant to drive the insane people who are still wearing masks in their car further over the edge. I don't know if it could happen, but they're pretty far gone by now. It really, it, it's amazing. Biden did say the economy was booming. Uh, by booming, it means mass inflation, high gas prices, oil prices, food shortages, no baby formula. Yeah. A, a stock market in a bear market. Yeah, everything's booming in Dementia Joe. Maybe maybe go back to sleep. Can Pfizer come up with that dementia, Alzheimer's drug already? Somebody needs some help. And can somebody talk to Dr. Jill or, or, or call the cops? I mean, this is elder abuse, clearly. His handlers need to get a better handle. I can't let the man talk. Please reel him in. Please reel him in. And then, my favorite drunken old hag, Nancy Pelosi. America's top drunken old hag. Well, she went out last week and said she will not support a bill to protect the Supreme Court justices or their families. She will not support a bill... To support another branch of the government that's listed in our Constitution. Imagine that. She doesn't believe they should have term limits where she's been in office for 9,000 years. She's 137 years old. She's older than Methuselah. But yet she doesn't want term limits for the Supreme Court justices. However, the good news is the Archbishop over there in San Francisco, wherever he's from, her little uh, area has banned her from receiving the cracker at communion. No cracker for you, Nancy. You've been banned. She wasn't that upset about it because she dropped to her knees and thank God she wasn't banned from the liquor store. That would have been much more severe for her. Not getting the cracker or not getting her big jug of Tito's? I don't know, weigh it out. I'm just saying she's not giving up the Tito's, friends. She'll give up the crack. It doesn't mean to her anything anyway. Really? Can anyone tell me when Build Back Better is actually beginning? Build Back Better beginning. Because it hasn't started yet. We're just building back broker. And I've said it before. I don't know. My pocket's a little emptier these days. How about yours? Now, 
Just wondering, just asking, when will the people that voted for Bode, Biden realize, I don't know, maybe mean tweets weren't worth $10 a gallon in gas. Maybe we take a few mean tweets, not $10 a gallon, because that's where it's going. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Did anybody else think maybe Trump didn't lose? America did? I don't know about you. Just giving you some facts here, man. Things were better last two years ago. It's just it's just, it's just a fact. I, I really can't even tell you. But we'll continue to blame Trump for everything. Now, Juneteenth is coming up. Juneteenth is coming up. It's on Father's Day, so I'll refer to it as Father's Day. Juneteenth, never heard about it ever before, before last year, and they had to rush it in to make it a holiday everywhere. We had to rush it in every state because everybody needs their dead day. Juneteenth. Now, what I find funny about this is that there is an ice cream company that now has a celebratory Juneteenth ice cream. And I'll tell you what, the flavor is red velvet and cheesecake. Sounds great. And you know what else? Nothing sounds like African-American heritage and free slaves like red velvet and cheesecake. Who can't deny that? I guess the black folk love those two desserts. I don't know. I'm going to have to ask one of them next time I see the black folk. Whatever. I'm just going to say, hey, listen, how do you feel about red velvet and cheesecake? Because that's your two cheese ice cream. That's the flavor that somebody thought would inspire the black folk and give celebration. I don't know. Just I think this is weird stuff, man. Dang. I know I'm a lot of free thinking today. Can anyone tell me why the new thing in schools is to have drag queens come in and read to the students? Drag queens, drag queens, not transgenders, drag queens. It's a whole nother group. Listen, they're a fun group of people, man. I saw them in Vegas, I saw them in a bar here, they put on a little show. Hysterical, kind, funny, put on a great show, great for the crowd. What is the efficacy of them reading to kindergartners and first graders and second graders in school. What are we doing, folks? What are we doing? It's not a show. It's a school! <sighs> breathe, Mac. Breathe. Take another sip. It'll be okay. Sports Illustrated. Swimsuit issues coming out shortly, and they have a morbidly obese swimsuit model on the cover. Somebody argued with me, said she wasn't morbidly obese. I disagree because medically she's morbidly obese. It's, it's not, a, it's not a, uh, an argument. She is. The numbers are the numbers. However, good for her to have the self-conscious and the ability to get up there and not be worried what about anybody's going to say. That self-confidence is something to be, uh, to admire. But I do think that we're going the other way here. By putting these people who are morbidly obese, and I'll even say even the skinniest of the skinnies, those models, if you're going to give girls that this is the model to be about, it is unhealthy. Morbidly obese people die. They do not have long lifespans. Heart disease related to morbid obesity is the number one killer in the country. Look it up, man. It's no joke. Can we stop putting fat people on a pedestal and get them to the doctor or the Dick Gregory fat farm down in Florida? I've had enough. Let's just get people healthy so they live a long time. And again... Good for this girl because she has a good body self-image. Just saying. Now, interesting. Interesting. I read an article about parents should be concerned about where their daughters go to college. Now, they should be concerned because they have to go to blue states because it's easier to get an abortion and more convenient to get an abortion in blue states than red states. Great idea. Why don't you talk to your daughter about a little... Safe sex. I'm just saying, maybe a little protection. Send it down a, a gross of condoms when she goes down there. I, I mean, is the is it is my thinking just completely off? I know for certain things I, I'm not correct, but I don't know. Maybe the conversation. Hey, sweetheart, I understand you may have some sex, but why don't you have him put, put cover the willy? I don't understand. Maybe take some birth control. Why is your first thought go to a blue state so you can have an abortion? I don't know. Safe sex should be first. Have the talk. It's probably cheaper and better on your mind. I mean, call me crazy or drunk. Either one. But that's just my theory on it. Then we had recently a, uh, read another article about the police department. Uh, not even the police department. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, a guy breaks into a convenience store, has a knife. 
So he wants to rob the convenience store, and the guy comes up behind when the other guy's working there and pistol whips him a couple times and smashes his skull in. So he sues the convenience store and wins. He wins. He went in there to commit a crime with a weapon, got his head bashed in, and wins. A home run for him. But can you imagine? How do we defend ourselves? They would have been better off, honestly, with a gun and return of fire. That's what he should have just did, return fire. Dead people can't sue. I'm just saying, down there in, like, Santa Rosa, Florida, they're asking you to kill the perpetrators. Ah, uh, you know, I, I mean, what, what are we doing in this world? Has the world gone upside down where criminals get rewarded? I mean, apparently so. Now, how is it in Pennsylvania after over 120 plus hours they haven't been able to count 1.4 million votes? France counted 70 million votes in like 24 hours. Pennsylvania, they can't count 1.4. But yet here in America, the, the mail-in vote is held sacrilege. We cannot not have the mail-in vote. Everything's perfect. Everything works fine. Really, you kidding me? Once again, go see 2,000 Mules and you tell me how the mail-in votes work. I'm not saying that, 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 that Trump was robbed, but just watch it. You'll see. You'll see. Now... Who believes that the media and our president and congressmen and all the Democrats are keeping racism alive? Joe Biden goes up to Buffalo to visit the families of the people that were killed because they're black. He didn't call, go to Wisconsin to visit those white folk. He didn't go to, in the same day, there was a Chinese man who went into a Taiwanese church, murdered one, shot 26, and wrote a note uh, 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 to the police saying he only did it because he hates the Taiwanese and they should be exterminated. Didn't go there. You know why? Because it doesn't stir up the hate and division. We're not talking about healing the country. We're talking about continuing to stir the pot of hatred. Why? So you can get the votes. It is disgusting and it needs to end. And as a country, we need to step up and get off of our asses and stop this lunacy. Just say it. We've got enough lunacy. Just come here in the morning when I'm trying to get to work and the squirrels are running around and can't find their glasses. I don't know. It's always my fault. Just saying that too. Apparently the only person my wife says no to is me. Everybody else says yes. Sorry, I digress. Uh, the new word is the ultra MAGA. I prefer the mega. I'm going to go with a mega pint of wine, a mega wine, mega glass, whatever, in a little bit when I start cooking. Mega, mega, mega. I'm going to go mega over ultra. Three eighth graders charged with sexual harassment in Wisconsin because they wouldn't use the preferred pronouns of another student. They wouldn't call that other student they. I don't know. I'm an English teacher. I'm passing them. You're going to use correct English. Once again, for all the normals, can you just wear a name tag so we call you by your name? Stop with the pronouns making up nonsense. Enough for it. Oof, I don't know. Saw this sign, and I'm going to read it to you. Face coverings should not be worn in the water due to increased chance of drowning. Now, I looked at this the first time, and I thought, do we really need to say this? And I thought again... Some people believe men can have babies, so I guess so. I don't know. We live in a crazy world. Last one I gotta go, and it's a little funny. No advice this week. None. Nobody sent me an Eddie. Um, Two-year-old grabs mom's phone, orders 51 cheeseburgers and 13 shakes, gets delivered. Everybody had dinner. This is a two-year-old I can get behind. Dude, you got DoorDash on your phone? Don't give it to your two-year-old. You never know who's going to knock at the door. Now listen. Find somebody you love. The most powerful words that you can say are, I love you. Many people in my life I love and I tell them all the time, I'm big into the hugs. I see I'm going to give you a hug. So find that person or persons and tell them, don't let a day go by because tomorrow's not guaranteed. Cheers, everybody. I love everybody who watches. Have a great day.